Hey folks, welcome to the Alliance Pro Wrestling Network podcast. I'm your host, Lewis Carlin. We're heard right here on the Alliance Pro Wrestling Network. Thank you so much for joining me today. And I want to thank everyone that has subscribed to our YouTube channel. The channel is slowly but surely growing. We're on our way to 400 subscribers. Very, very appreciative. Very, very grateful. Thank you very much. And if you don't subscribe and if you're watching for the first time, check out some other content. And if you like the content, consider hitting that subscribe button. Uh, I would be very grateful. I would be very appreciative if you did, in fact, hit that subscribe button. And you know what time it is right now? It is shout out time. It's shout out time. So I would like to do a shout out to one of our subscribers. I'd like to give a shout out to the holiday Christopher Mace. Thank you very much for subscribing to the Alliance Pro Wrestling Network YouTube channel the holiday christopher mace thank you so much i really appreciate it again i'll say his name one more time the holiday christopher mace thank you so much okay let's get into the review new japan pro wrestling strong collision 2021 tour has begun and this was a very good show the main event uh, this show, terrific, terrific, terrific main event. The IWGP U.S. Heavyweight Champion John Moxley and his partner Chris Dickinson taking on Yuji Nagata, who will be challenging John Moxley May 12th for that IWGP U.S. Heavyweight Championship, and his partner, the amazing, amazing Ren Narita, who, in my opinion, is one of the best young wrestlers in the world today. And this main event was absolutely fantastic and we're going to get into that main event shortly we'll discuss it but first let's run down the whole show uh match one was the young lions kevin knight who is so damn impressive and the dkc taking on the team of barrett brown adrian quest uh the match started uh with um Brown and the DKC uh, we had some mat wrestling to start. Knight and Quest uh, eventually came in. We had more mat wrestling. Uh, Knight goes for a shoulder tackle, but Quest caught him in an armbar, which was a really nice spot. So Kevin Knight went for a shoulder tackle, but Quest caught him in an armbar and just dropped him down to an armbar, which was a really, really nice spot. Uh, we had some more... Um, Good action going on. Quest hit a 360 crossbody. Uh, Brown hits a nice drop kick. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, Kevin Knight hit a nice drop stick on Barrett Brown. And Kevin Knight, I think, has one of the best drop kicks right now in professional wrestling. It's just a textbook drop kick. Um, the match picks up. Um, match picks up a bit, and DKC uh, hits a kicks to Quest, who in return, German suplex to D DKC. Uh, Brown and Knight are eventually tagged in as Brown hits a flurry of moves. Uh, Quest blind tags um, his, himself in. He comes in, hits a shooting star press on Knight for the win, uh, which ends the match. So the winner, Barrett Brown, Adrian Quest. Uh, but Brown is upset at this for some reason. He wanted the win, and Brown has been getting upset the last couple of matches he's been in. Uh, if he's not getting the win, he, he gets upset. Even though his team is winning, he's getting upset. Uh, so and this was um, this match was uh, this, this, the same thing. Uh, Brown got upset, and um, he got into Quest's face. Uh, but it seemed like they, um, they worked things out. They shook hands, they fist bumped, and they left. But as they left, uh, Brown uh, attacked Adrian Quest, his partner, and beat him down brought him back to the ring and beat him down and um barrett brown um split from adrian quest uh, and uh, looks like they'll be having a match uh, or a few down the road but baron brown Bar barrett brown upset that he didn't get the victory and attacks adrian quest this was a very good opener lots of really good work here uh you kind of you kind of felt a team split was coming they were talking about it a little bit um, Kevin Kelly and uh, Alexander Kozlov were talking about how Brown get would, was getting upset in the past for not getting the win for his team. Uh, so he kind of felt a team split was, was coming here. Uh, it's been brewing for a few weeks now. Uh, so and, and we did, in fact, of course, get the split. And the Young Lions always do well. Kevin Knight is such an exceptionally terrific young lion he's so damn good he's going to be an absolute star uh the dkc i don't think the dkc is quite on the level of kevin knight just yet uh but he's getting there but kevin knight is just just fantastic and um he's on his way to superstar but this was a very good opener very exciting match um very um entertaining match uh, to open the show so match two we had um big pappy Big Poppy Pump. <laughs> He's called Big Poppy Pump, a player on Scott Steiner. Mysterioso and Jordan Clearwater against the debuting team of the West Coast Wrecking Crew, Joral Nelson and Royce Isaacs. Uh, Isaacs and Clearwater start. 
Isaacs controls the action early. Uh, Clearwater comes back with a bulldog. Mysterioso is tagged in. Uh, he comes in with offense, some nice offense on Isaacs. Uh, Nelson in with a corner splash on Mysterioso. Mysterioso hits a back elbow, then a roll through drop kick for two, which was a nice spot there. Clearwater hits a suplex on Nelson. Uh, Isaacs is back in and stops Clearwater, Clearwater in the corner. And some more action took place, and then Isaac and Nelson quick tag. That was a succession of quick tags and have Jordan Clearwater in trouble um, until Clearwater hits a reverse necker breaker on Nelson and makes a tag to Mysterioso, who cleans house. He comes in, takes control of the offense, takes control of the match. Uh, he hits a nice dive to the outside by Mysterioso on Isaacs and Nelson. We got a few near falls in this one. Things really picked up down the stretch. Isaac hits a Death Valley driver across the knees of Nelson on Clearwater for the win, which is a really, really nice spot. I've never seen that before. So he hit a Death the Jordan, Jordan Nelson went went on his back and put up his knees, and Isaac's put a hit a Death Valley driver onto his knees, um, on Jordan Nelson's knees on Jordan Clearwater, which was a really cool move uh, for the win. So I really like that finisher move. So the West Coast Wrecking Crew victorious here, Jordan Nelson and Royce Isaacs. Good debut for Nelson and Isaacs. Uh, the match was sort of a little slow in the beginning. I was a little worried that this is not going to be such a such a great match, but uh, they really picked up. Uh, I, Nelson and Isaacs they, they work they work well together. Uh, Mysterioso is so good. He hits some, some especially that dive to the outside, uh, and he's so so good. And Jordan Clearwater also a, a um, potential star in the making. Uh, but uh, as I said, the match started slow, but it picked up down the stretch. Um, and the West Coast Wrecking Crew is uh, victorious. It's it's interesting how they, they're bringing in an, another tag team, and there are various tag teams already in, um, in New Japan Pro Wrestling Strong. I wonder if they're, they're, they're thinking about bringing in maybe a New Japan Pro Wrestling Strong openweight tag team titles. That would be interesting as well. They brought some tag team titles in. But great team here, um, West Coast Wrecking Crew, Nelson and Isaacs. I look forward to seeing them again. And this was also a, um, I'm not going to say it was a, a great match. This was a good match. This was a good match uh, for match two. And again, you know, Isaacs and Nelson, uh, they've obviously worked together in the past because uh, they did work together well uh, in this match. Uh, but again, it wasn't a great one. It was a good one. So let's get on to the main event, which was a great one. Absolutely great one. As I said, it was Yuji Nagata and Ren Narita versus IWGP US champion John Moxley and Chris Dickinson. Now, Chris Dickinson will be challenging Tom Lawler for the New Japan Pro Wrestling Strong Openweight title. I think May, I think it's May 28th. He's uh, challenging for it. So Chris Dickinson getting a shot there. Uh, Yuji Nagata uh, challenging John Moxley May 12th on the next AEW Dynamite uh, for the IWGP US championship so as great as this match was you kind of um sorry i got it there so uh as great as this match was you kind of knew the outcome of the match before it even um before it even started uh because moxley is not going to lose nagata is not going to lose because they have a big match coming up may 12th chris dickinson has a huge match coming up may 28th against tom lawler He's not going to lose. So you knew right away that the person that has to take the fall here is Ren Narita. And um, that, in fact, was the case. Ren Narita did take the fall. But let's let's talk uh, let's talk about the match. Because right from the beginning, right from the beginning, it was Moxley Nagata. And I got excited when Moxley Nagata started the match. I was expecting, like, Narita and Dickinson to start the match. And Moxley and Nagata maybe to stay away from each other for a little bit. Uh, but Moxley and Nagata got in the ring, started right away. And, and they began, and they wasted no time. They just went shot for shot immediately. Great, great opening action. Um, eventually, uh, Narita and Dickinson came in, and they go at it in more intense action in the beginning. My goodness, this was such a great start to the match. Stiff shots by both. Narita just looked absolutely fantastic. I kind of felt bad because you, you knew he had to take the fall, but he's so, so talented. And they did make a reference uh, to Narita beating Dickinson. So I kind of thought that Dickinson was going to get the win here over Narita to, to get that win back, to, to make him look strong going into his um, open weight title match against against Tom Lawler. Uh, but we'll move on. So outside, they're outside the ring. Moxley takes uh, has Narita outside the ring and rams him into a gate on the outside. 
puts it back into the ring. Dickinson um, hits some more offense and gets a two count on Arita. Moxley back in, and Arita is in deep trouble at this point. Um, him and Dickinson go trade tags, and they have Narita, like I said, in big trouble. Uh, Narita really makes to make a tag as he's being dominated by Dickinson and Moxley. Uh, Narita finally comes back at the belly-to-belly -belly on Moxley, which is really nice. Uh, Moxley and Narita both are able to tag out. Nagata hits a flurry of offense on Dickinson. Um, Moxley comes back in with Nagata as they go forearm for forearm smash, which was, you were expecting uh, there was going to be a number of uh, shot for shot uh, exchanges between Moxley and Nagata. Uh, Nagata hits an Inzaguri on, on Moxley. Moxley goes down. Uh, they exchange some more moves. Moxley hits a Big clothesline on Nagata for two. Nagata hits an exploder on Moxley. And right now, just the action is so, so amazing at this point. Uh, Nagata and um, Narita double team Moxley. Um, they have him in a corner. They Narita just runs him and hits him with the knee in the corner. Uh, they continue to... Um, to double team Moxley. Moxley is on the outside now. Narita is in. He hits a belly to belly on Moxley for two. Um, Moxley then takes control, hits a Death Rider on the reader for the victory. So John Moxley pinned Render Reader as expected. Um, well, I should say it was expected that Narita was taking the loss here, uh, but Moxley gets the win. I kind of, I, I kind of wish that uh, Dickinson got the win here, um, or Nagata. Actually, Nagata had gotten the win here, uh, but uh, Nagata they weren't going to have N Dickinson lose. Uh, since he's going into that open weight match, but it would have made Nagata look really good if he got the win here, uh, over Dickinson, uh, because he wasn't going to get the win over Moxley. Well, they no, he wasn't going to get the win over Moxley, uh, but it would have made him look strong, you know, to people who might have been watching him for the first time, uh, but um. Or have Dickinson beat Narita to make to, to, for him to get that win back and make him look strong going into his match with uh, Tom Lawler. So Moxley getting the victory here, I think, might have been a little bit of a mistake because Moxley already looks strong, and you don't need to make Moxley look strong. Yeah, you, you needed to kind of build up Nagato a little bit or build up Dickinson, in my opinion. So I, I kind of think that Moxley getting the win here may have been a little bit of a mistake. But uh, but hey, I'm not the booker. I can only voice my opinion, and. But nonetheless, this was a, just a tremendous match. Render Reader is so, so damn good. I know I said that earlier. But I'm going to say it again. He is one of the best young stars right now in professional wrestling. And, man, he's got a bright, bright future. He's on excursion right now in the United States. I can't wait for his excursion to be over, for him to go back to Japan to see what he can do. Because he's, like I said, he's going to be a, a megastar in Japan. He's so, so, so good. And, um, yeah, but this was a great match. So May 12th, we got, uh, actually, I'm sorry, after the match was over, post-match, Moxley and Nagata, they go out and they went at it again, uh, post-match. Um, Moxley, um, uh, either slapped him or hit him with a forearm smash. Nagata then, uh, took him down, locked on, locked on, uh, Nagata lock, as they were calling it, or it's basically a cross face. Uh, and he wouldn't release it. Uh, Dickinson tried to get him off. He couldn't get a couldn't get to get him off. He couldn't get Nagata off Moxley. And um, some young Lions came in and they tried to, to pull. So it took like five guys to pull Nagata off Moxley. Uh, that kind of made Mo Nagata look strong. Uh, that kind of made Nagata look strong. Uh, they finally got him off and um, Moxley um, just lie there and, and Nagata gave him the Nagata salutes and, and left the ring. But to May 12th, it's going to be a tremendous match. And Nagata's 53 years old. Uh, he still got it, man. He has still got it. He is so talented, Nagata. Absolute, uh, absolute legend of professional wrestling in Japan. And I can't wait for May 12th. Uh, John Moxley defending against Yuji Nagata. That's going to be a great match. As well as the 28th, in which uh, Chris Dickinson gets his shot at uh, the New Japan Pro Wrestling Openweight Champion, the strong Openweight Champion, Tom Lawler. So two really good matches upcoming, and we have another big show coming up next week, New Japan Pro Wrestling Strong. Looking forward to it. Uh, Collision 21 Tour continues. And until next time, then, I'm going to say thank you very much for listening to me today. I'm Lewis Carlin. This is the Alliance Pro Wrestling Network podcast. And until next time, thank you very much. Take care. Bye-bye. And stay safe, everyone. So long. Bye-bye.